Balls and a huge surprise on the selection for Chinese Taipei. Yu Qianhui up against An Si Young. And of course, An Si Young is a top 10 player. She's currently number eight at the moment, quarter finalist at the Olympic Games. Up against Yu Qianhui, who's ranked 100, 810. So, to say this is a surprise selection for Chinese Taipei is an understatement. Pai Yu Po played their women's singles match against Germany. She won in three games against Yvonne Lee. That was a fantastic match. It was a really good match. It was. Uh, but for a second time in the Sudan Cup campaign, Chinese Taipei has selected this lady, Yu Qianhui for the women's single. She played against Tahiti, where Chinese Taipei enjoyed a five-love victory over the French Polynesian island. So here is Ansi Young, still a teenager. Actually shares a birthday with Ratchnok Intanov, but seven years younger. So, Gunas Nasviras from Latvia are on par for this one. First meeting between the two players. Red for you. A red for the red player. Yep, she's chosen ends. So, for Yu Qianhui, well, I certainly haven't, can't remember seeing her on a singles court before, prior to this tournament, and I only saw her out of the corner of my eye when she was playing against Tahiti. Le Sou, she beats 21-4, 21-4 in just 15 minutes. Mind you, Ansi Young's been in terrific form too. And I was surprised when I was researching this lady earlier today because I thought she must be a real youngster, but 26 years of age, born in Taipei. And she is ranked 810, went down five places two days ago on the world ranking. And if I counted correctly, Morton, she's the 39th ranked women's singles player on the world ranking list from Chinese Taipei. 39. Yeah. Incredible. So I'm guessing they've said to themselves, neither of our two women's singles players can actually beat Ang Si Young. Yeah. And uh, therefore we're going to rest Pai Yu Po for the quarterfinal knockout stage. I'm guessing that's the philosophy. Mm. I think it is the philosophy. But can you imagine had uh, Korea not played Ang Si Young? Yes, good you point. never, You never know. Yeah, but you then their second player, Kim ga -ung, Is 16 it, on the world ranking, I She's think. very good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, not to be underestimated. So there is the result that I was telling you about just a moment ago. Only 15 minutes for her match against the Tahiti player. Han Si Young is still a teenager, 19 years of age, born in Guangzhou in the southwest of the country. 170, that's about 5 foot 7. Enjoying her 35th week at a career high of number 8 in the world ranking. Quarterfinal in Tokyo at the Olympic Games lost out to the eventual gold medalist Chen Ufei. Two good games, 21-18, 21-19, an hour and five minutes. Now there's the match on Sunday that we were telling you about uh, against Germany and Yvonne Lee. And what a good match uh, Yvonne Lee played against Pai Yu Po. But Yvonne Lee was beaten soundly by An Si Young. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chinese Taipei, represented by 
Yung Chen Park. And on my left, Korea, represented by Han Se Young. Korea to serve. Level. Play. So Han Se Young, representing Korea, getting this women's singles match underway against Yu Chen Hui or Chinese Taipei. Well, there's a gulf between the two as far as the world rankings are concerned. So not only a Latvian service judge, but David Evans from England is our service judge. Mm, string gone. Sounded like that anyway. I from Aung Sai Young? No. From Yu Chen Hu. But uh, it just no. sounded really weird, so she definitely did not connect. To, um, to one of the shots. Well, it was the last Sullivan Cup two years ago. It's a biannual event, and the Sullivan Cup of 2019 was in Nanning. And it was there that Aung Se Young absolutely burst onto the world stage. Uh, played all three of Korea's women's singles matches in Korea's campaign two years ago. Beat Chung Ang Yi from Hong Kong and then beat the world number one, Tai Su Ying, in three games. 21-16 in the deciding game. Quarterfinal against Thailand. She actually lost to Ratchanok Intanon in two straight games. So all three matches, winning two of them when she was just... A, 17 years of age at the last Sudderman Cup. That's gone wide. Yeah, this looks like to be a very one-sided affair, tell the truth. Yeah. Well, you Chen Hui have got no answers. No. And I've felt in, in more recent times, Morton, that she's been concentrating on her women's doubles and mixed doubles. I mean, towards her world ranking of 810, she's only got two tournaments. She did actually play three tournaments in 2019, one first round loss and two losses in qualifying. Yeah, that's nicely done, Thay. Yeah, well played. This is where we touched on it the other day, didn't we, when we were talking about uh, seeding for these yes. uh, uh, team competitions and especially for the Sudaman Cup. What the BWF do is they take the highest ranked player or pair in each of the five disciplines, add the rankings together. And, and that's then, your seeding. And that's your seeding. The, the higher the total, yeah. obviously, the uh, uh, with the ranking points, then uh, the higher you're seeded. But we touched on the fact that Chinese Taipei don't have their Olympic silver medalist in the women's singles. They don't have their Olympic gold medalist in the men's doubles. And whether sh seeding should actually be done on the players actually here participating in the event. Yeah, but that's uh, I, I gave my personal opinion about yeah. it the other day as well. And yes, I do think so. I, I think that uh, it's the, the seeding becomes too artificial to me. Yeah, um, it should be based on the players who is actually participating. I, however, understand it's, it's it's a little bit more complicated to do so. But in all honesty, it's a world championship, and I think uh, it should reflect uh, the standard of the team playing. Yeah. The other interesting thing, of course, we've all been disrupted by COVID, mm. and originally the Sudan Cup was going to be in May. Yes. And it was going to be in China. Yeah. And so under the BWF's regulations, uh, the seeding and the world rankings used to determine the seedings were taken from the world ranking on the 23rd of February 2021. 
because yeah. they believed yeah. the event was going to happen yeah. in May. So you can't suddenly change the regulations. So we've still gone back to the world ranking in February, in February yes. for the seedings for this yeah. tournament. Yeah, which would so, be slightly outdated. Yeah, but I mean, you, you have to have a starting point. Yeah. And, you know, we've all been disrupted by COVID and, and that's one of the consequences. But how wonderful that the Finnish Babington Association and the city of Vanta has stepped in and said, we'll stage the event. It's yes. fantastic. It's really good. With such a short notice, yeah. they accepted uh, to stage this event and... Uh, I think uh, the BWF can be very, very happy that yes. they actually did so. I agree. I think the congratulations all round. Oh, that's perfect punch clear from Ansia. And she goes to the big game interval with a seven point advantage. 11 4 the scoreline. Totally dominant at the moment. Nancy Young. Well, there's a fair few rackets that have gone through the stringing team this week. We were talking with them earlier today when we arrived at the venue. 800 rackets done already. And the team of stringers, led by Mark and Tim, and they work tirelessly throughout these major competitions they do do a wonderful job don't they they do everyone is just so happy they're here Great skill from Ansi Young. Slice straight down the line. Glancing blow across the line of the shuttle. Look at that. That's a perfect example of a slice. I think she's definitely physically looking stronger, Ansi Young, today than, you know, when we saw her coming onto the scene two years ago. Mm. I think she looks a lot, lot stronger. And of course, two years further training. It's done the trick. Oh, lovely net play from Ansi Young. Well, she's come from a sporting pedigree because her father was a boxer. And she's openly talked about his mentality for boxing, which obviously is a very, very tough sport. And his toughness towards training and so on, he, she says, has helped her with uh, her mental attitude towards badminton. Yeah, to understand it better, I'm sure. Yeah. But Pusana Venkata Sindhu comes from a sporting background yeah, as that's well. Yeah, basketball. Parents. No, volleyball. Volleyball, okay. Yeah. Her father was captain, I think, of the uh, team that won a medal at the Asian Games in Seoul. Okay. That's a good shot.
Yeah. Four plates. You can't play. Yeah. not even at top pace and she's still a, a pace quicker than her opponent two or three paces yeah yeah that's good clear yeah it's a tough call for Yu Chen Wei isn't it it's sort of uh, thrown in as the sacrificial lamb to sort of, uh, you know, the thought process, if we're right, that uh, they didn't believe they had a singles player who could beat Han Se Young. You know, you take one for the team. Uh, it's tough on her. I think it is. Um, I, I spent uh, a lot of the time watching this match, uh, um, you know, feeling and thinking what you just said uh, when it comes to Yu Chen Wei. However, I'm, I'm using a lot of time watching um, Ang Seong and I, I like how well she's getting out of the corners. As soon as she's played a shot from one of the corners, she's on her way. She follow her shots really well and she's got great anticipation. And, um, you know, I just hope that one day if she really wants to get up all the way up to the top, she needs to infuse a little bit more pace into her game. Of course, we won't see that today, but uh, in a few years' time, I would like to see an injection of pace. Because what yeah, happens is that she's, when she's playing the really good player, she's just reacting to what is thrown at her. She's not dictating anything. So when you say pace, are you talking about pace of movement or pace of shot? Both. Okay. In this case. Yeah. It's interesting because I think of Aung Se Young as a fast player. She retrieves as you've just pointed yeah. out extremely well she yes. reacts to her opponent uh, she chases shuttles down but i'm guessing what you mean is that she lives with the pace and then suddenly can have an explosive movement to take the shuttle early to make the difference within the rally yes and take that initiative it takes to win with some of the crucial points as well yeah because if you're just reactive all the time you, you just hope that your opponent is making a mistake. You're not really forcing them into anything. And uh, I'd like to see Ang Siyong trying to force her opponents to, to do things that they don't like. And it's drifted wide. So it's over. Over. 18-11. Oh, that's perfection. That's found the line. I'm looking straight down that line. 2 points away from the opening game. Oh, yeah, that's good skill there. Nice way to bring up game point opportunities. Game point 11. Mm, got the net cord. You chair away. It's 
gone wide. So at the second time of asking, world number eight, Anse Young takes the opening game 21 12 in just about 14 minutes of play. So this is the second of the game point opportunities. Smooth movement from Anse Young. And the problem is when you're playing against an opponent that's got terrific retrieving capabilities is you tend to think you've got to get, go closer and closer to the lines to try and win the point. And in trying to do so, you tend to make more and more errors. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Say Young, the Korean, winning the opening game, 21-12. Oh, that's a delightful drop. Shot. That's a super shot. Yeah, she needs to produce a few more of those. Uh, a slip as she lunged forwards, went into the splits position. Seems to be okay. But actually, this is a serious issue, Morton, because if you're not really fully focused into the match because you believe you're going to win, yeah. which the difference in rankings suggests, then you are more liable for an injury because you're not fully focused in your movement and winning the rallies and... Yeah, yeah I, I agree with you. you. I normally, when I do coaching, I'm telling my players, you know, please stay stay focused. Uh, you, you might win this one fairly easy, but stay focused. We don't want any injuries. Yeah. Rally. It's in. Yeah, well, 4 1 lead. Oh, challenge. Yeah, 
clearly it. Yeah. It's a poor challenge. challenge she was right there. One challenge remaining. So, four, four, one. Four, one. Yeah, that's on the line as well. Five, yeah, what a good start. Oh, oh. Brilliant, that <laughs> oh, well. Yes. I think that Aung Si Young is learning a lesson here because I have a feeling she might think, oh, why is she not just giving it to me so this is over? But she's got to play for it and she's got to take it herself. And uh, I think that's sometimes a mistake from younger players that, you know, they have a fixed picture in their mind and then that's the way it goes but yeah. it's normally not the way it goes no. and you've got to take it play better than your opponent I remember Gillian Jilks English badminton player who in yeah. fact won the Triple All England in yeah. 1976 and I had the great pleasure of playing women's doubles with her at one stage and she, she said to me Jill the biggest compliment and respect you can show your opponent is to try your best to win as quickly and as efficiently as possible because it shows that you, you fear them, them. Yeah. and you take them seriously yes Oh, that's a super shot. Sarah Yeah, good pressure from Nancy Young. Four, seven. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's lovely. Great tactical awareness. Oh, clever. Yeah. Clever again. Good play. I know that Yu Chin Wei have uh, done a lot, lot better here in the second game. But from a tactical point of view, I would have liked to see her not playing so many cross court shots, if you can say. If uh, she's playing her opponent to the front at the forehand, and then the next shot will be the back at the backhand. And it's, it's too easy, it's too simple for Aung Si Young to just walk these diagonals the whole time and she covers them so well. So I would like to see Yu Jin Hui sort of play more shots to the same place and area on court to try to add on the pressure. 
Four. Just wide. Oh, it's good. Cool yeah. Oh well. What nice or that? It's clearly wide. But we were wrong on the last one, which we were absolutely certain about. Yes, yes. We have to eat our words on that one. Yeah, good challenge. But not twice. Young is doing exactly what I uh, told her a little bit earlier that she's, she's got to take it herself, cannot expect her opponent to give it to her and she has definitely upped her pace and is, is playing much much more focused at the moment than what she did in the early parts of this second game. Just a four-point advantage for Ong Si Young in the second game at the mid-game interval, uh, considering that she was 1-6 down. I think we can safely say the momentum is back with her. That's sat on the top of the tape, had a little look and decided not to go over. Ten straight points now. Oh, oh perfection. Yes. the net court. Nothing else I young could do about that. Oh, that's a good smash. Yeah. And a well played rally by Yu Chien Hui. Yeah, well constructed. And oh, short.
in that rally, which was quite a good long rally as well, Yu Chen Hui just played one straight shot. The rest of them were all cross court shots. There was more variation in that rally, though. More straights and yes, and, and, and double crosses. Like, like, which is quite a difficult shot. The uh, the spinning net shot at the forehand side. She did really well. The winning shot. Mm. That's that's not an easy shot to play. more rallies at the net. Absolutely, I was just about to say that. Just one point in it now. Another net court. Yeah, she's back level. Oh, oh credit to Yu Chin Wei. After losing those 10 straight points from 6 2 up to then finding herself oh, 2 7, seven two up to then being 12 7 down. I thought she might be psychologically a bit dispirited, but not a bit of it. She's now back in the lead. Now, yeah, my shot. Now that's the sort of shot you were alluding to earlier that you want to see Aung San Young play more of. That was a fast shot. It really clipped down, fast drop shot. It's, it's her best aggressive shot she's got in, in her game. That's that cross court she's got. But she's got to develop more than just that one. Yeah. I think I would describe it as a cross court smash rather than a cross, <coughs> cross court angle yes. cast drop. Same action, uh, slightly different shot. happy with herself there and I can understand why. Oh, well, lucky that gold again. Yeah, took the chance, yeah. went for it. So 17 all. Yeah. 
Oh, there, there's that one again you said yeah. was her favourite. That's the favourite shot. Yeah. And now it's coming too often. And it in. Two points away from giving career a two love lead in this group B decider. Oh, there it is again. But that was played to perfection. That was pinpoint accuracy. Skim the net on its way over. And it's match point opportunities. That's gone long, first time of asking. And Aung San Young beating Yu Chien Hui in two straight games. Umpire just confirming that scoreline of 21-12, 21-17 in a match lasting 36 minutes. Well, one always felt Aung San Young was going to win through, but she was made to work hard in that second game by Yu Chien Hui. So they take leave of centre stage. And once again, com confirmation of that scoreline. 21-12, 21-17. And Korea take a two-love lead in this Group B decider against Chinese Taipei. This was the match point opportunity. The clear from Aung San Young. Very deep in court. Yeah, it's lovely balance as she lunges forward, isn't it? And the push, the final push from Yu Qian Hui, just long of the back line. And therefore, the 19-year-old Aung San Young victory in the women's singles in two straight games. So, coming up next is men's singles and the former world number two, Chu Tian Chen against Hao Kuang He of Korea.
So welcome back to Vanta in Finland. We're just north of the Finnish capital Helsinki and this wonderful arena. It's a, a beautiful facility and we've had many badminton events here but the first time it's been a world event. It's the World Mixed Team Championships, the Sudaman Cup and as you can see from that Korea lead Chinese